Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm back today with Roxy's weekly challenge and it's number six and it's a variation of what last week's uh, document holder. So that was last week and this week is a variation on that. So we'll just pop that one back in the journal and I will show you what my variation is going to be. So it really is, let me get that back until I show you the difference. It's the same but different. It's instead of that way round, it's a long narrow one that way round. So it's long and narrow instead of, so it doesn't open left to right, it opens up and down. Yeah, <laughs> you would think that would be easy to explain. <laughs> so that's the variation. So that's what um, Rachel did, and she did use documents, and it was it was it was lovely. But I thought let's take it another little step different because I already have a document holder in my journal, and I thought I would do a vellum cover for mine, and also in the center. Instead of, let's open this again, I should have just have kept it. Instead of having pieces of um, vintage uh, book pages and actual documents, I thought I would use paper that was um, like fancy paper, like caddy paper, this... Um, the name of which escapes me, but it's got little bits of fibre, pa uh, fibre, um, some more, a bigger piece of caddy paper, another piece of that paper whose name escapes me, some uh, vellum, another bit of that, a bit of graph paper, a bit of uh, parchment paper and some craft paper. So just again it's something that you keep in your journal and you can pull pieces out and these can be stamped on colored a sticker on it or just used as background pieces and um, yeah so it will be a handy thing to have in your journal as a companion to the document holder that holds the actual book page and I thought, you know, if you were a tra travelling about, you were going your holidays, it would be a handy uh, thing to have. And this is the cover. And, um, yeah. So that's how it's going to look. And we'll fancy it up a little bit. So that's my insides. We'll just leave them to the side just now. And this is going to be my cover. But instead of keeping it just plain. Let's fancy it up. So I've got another one here that I have stitched around. Just a plain old running stitch with the machine. If you don't have a machine then obviously you can use a black liner pen and draw some dots or some lines or just a squiggle or just leave it plain, it's nice plain. You can add something else to make it your own. Um, again, I've stamped, instead of original documents, which is what's in that one, I've called this one fancy papers. And I've stamped on that paper that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> so we're going to put that there. I used my old typewriter alphabet stamps. These are just wooden letters and um, Versafine black. So along with that, I'm going to put that there, I thought we could use some stickers because I have boxes and boxes of stickers. So I've taken out a few stickers just to see how things might go. So let's just audition a few stickers. We've got a little bird, which is quite nice. We've got this, 
which I think I like because it brings in, it, it, it pulls in, because it sits on top of the paper there, it pulls it in. I think I'm liking that. But I do like the bird. We could have him up there. I think it's a wee rain. A wee Jenny rain. Hmm. We could have, if we cut that stem off, we could have that. I'm going to put an eyelet in the middle there. Oh, I think I maybe like that one. And we'll just cut that off. We'll just cut that to fit. So, the sunflower daisy type. Or the bit with the green leaves. These decisions have to be made. <laughs> I tell you what, let's gl glue down this first. I'm just going to use my glue stick. Oh, I should have told you the measurements. Okay, so the whole piece is... Nearly 11 and three quarters by four and a bit inches, and in centimeters, that's 29.5 centimeters and 10.5 centimeters across. Okay. funny how we use, well we don't use both, we are metric, we should be using centimetres, but you get, when you do, <laughs> when you do centimetres you get occasionally, not often, you get occasional comment. Asking me about the measurements. And that's okay, you know. It's easy enough to do the two lots of measurements. Now, for sure we want this one. For sure. So let's see if we can... Let's see if it's going to behave for us. It's not going to behave there. Let's see if this bit's going to behave. This usually works. Let me try. Let me try the pokey tool. Oh. Here we are. Thread on it. <laughs> right. About there. Yes, that's pretty. And yes, we definitely want the bird up there. The washy ones are easier to come away than the plasticky ones, she says, as it sticks to itself. Oh, okay, now. I think. Right, so we want it about there. And we'll just trim off.
Yeah, it did at that time. Good. So that's our cover. Let me just get these little bits out of the way. And let's get the crocodile. And I've got a little bit of twine. But before we do that, we need to fold. We need to get our papers organised and a little clip. So we're going to clip them straight on to the top of the vellum piece of the cover. And then find our fold. Yep. And find our fold. Here. And I have my own folder here. There we are. Okay, so now we can do our eyelet, and this is what will hold the papers together. And I think I'm going to put a silver one on this. And it's three sixteenths, so this one here. and we're going to the middle close enough oops through all the papers put the little eyelet in there and squish it with the other part of the crocodile And how will we put this on? Do you know what I'm wondering? If we put another hole there. If we put a hole there. We could keep it closed because it's quite bouncy. I think we'll put a hole. Oh, it's going to be through my thread. Or is it? It's just below the thread, I think. Mm, it's going to be quite near the edge. Well, we can do what we did. I'm not going to do that because it's too near the edge. Let me just find my rubber. Knock that little pencil mark out. We can just use another clip. Right, so let's just get a nice little bit of twine through here. Just a little bit 
too. I think I want that the other way around. I think it sits better when it's coming down the way. Of course, I've cut them short now, so it's a little bit fiddly to get through. There we are. That's better. Right. I don't know that I like that twine. I need to live with that for a bit. It's a bit thick and it's covering my fancy paper. <laughs> mm. Let me just get a different twine. Let's try that. No, which way was it? That's better. <laughs> Sticking up though. Yeah, put it the other way around. Oh, the whole the whole thing was made and then half the time taken putting up putting in a tiny little bit of twine. Better. That's it now. That just needs to be fiddled about with a little bit. There. That's better. Okay, so is that us done? We need a wee clip. What have we got? We've got a wee. Here's a little. Would that be nice on it? A little paper clip that's a little. Does that work? Is that as far as that goes in? Mm, don't like that. Right, let's see what we've got about. Here's the paper clips. Here's the paper clips here. Big arrow. Yeah. That'll do. <sighs> right, I think that's us. <laughs> that ended up a bit of a faff at the end. So we've got this one. No, we don't. Where did it go? This one. 
with the documents and this one with the fancy papers. Now, will we put that and we'll put it at the back beside the other one. In the back pocket, will it go in there? So we've got our originals and our fancy papers. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. And then we can just, go, oh, I'm curling the corners, putting them in that. Oh, I don't know if I'll put it in there. And we've got our nice fancy papers ready to be used. not sure about putting it in that. It's going to get dog-eared. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Happy with that. Thanks for joining me and if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.